in some of the earlier videos, I've shown you that um, when when you want to differentiate x to the power n, you simply take the n down here and then and then get the n itself and then minus one. That will give you this. So, for example, if you want to differentiate um, x to the power of three, then then that would then uh, that would then become three uh, x squared. Okay, but but now in this video, what, so so x to the power of three, you can easily differentiate it by by just taking the three out here and then getting this three minus one. So it will give you three x squared. Okay, so so differentiating x to the power of three is quite easy. So now now suppose you have a, a um, so 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 x now you've got x to the power of three, but then you've got a coefficient in front of x to the power of three. So to do this here, to differentiate this here, you um you would you would um you would keep keep the five the same. So keep the five the same and just concentrate on on uh, differentiating x to the power of three. Okay. So so to to differentiate this here. To differentiate this here, visualize it as this times this, but then just concentrate on, you, you can actually take the 5 out, and then just concentrate on differentiating x to the power of 3. So this, in effect, will become, hang on, uh, take, take the 5 out, so, uh, so concentrate on differenti differentiating x to the power of 3. So that would then give you this, hang on, that would then give you um, uh, 3x squared. So now, now you, uh, well, you can merge your 5 and the 3 together. That would give you 15x squared. Okay. So, so, um, yeah. So, so when you see this here, just visualize it like this and just concentrate on, forget about this. Um, just differentiate this. So this would, well, do it in one go. So it basically becomes, um, 15x squared. So you, you, Keep an eye on this and just concentrate on con, uh, on differentiating this. Okay, um, and the reason why that works is because of this here. Hang on. Suppose you have um, suppose you have y equals um, a, a constant here, and then you've got something involving x. So in our case, in our case, u of x was x to the power of three, and this this c here is just a constant. It's like it's like 5, it's like RC, it's just a constant, it doesn't change. Whereas this U of X here, it depends, it's acting upon X, it's doing something to the X. This this C here is a constant. This is a function of X, meaning it's going to do something to the X. Okay? Now if, if you look at, so so this is our, this is our, our Y equals blah blah blah. So normally, if we want to work out the, the gradient, the derivative, we would get this height here, which is given by, well, normally you would just put this into this thing here, and don't forget c is just a constant. So this, this height here, this whole height here, this whole height here is given by this. You simply would just put, uh, x plus h into this thing here. So this, this height here is basically, it's basically this. And then you would take away this height here, which is u, Putting the x into this thing here, so it's basically um, well. Don't forget the c gets carried through. So, so, it's, so this height here is given by this, and this height here is given by this here. So, if you want, if you want to find out this this height here, you would get this. Take away this, okay, and then and then and then divide it by h, and then take the limit as h tends to zero. That would then give you the the, uh, the true gradient. But the thing is, uh, the thing is, c is in common here, and c is in common here. So you can factor out the uh, the c, so it becomes this. And and then um, and then and then using one of the laws on limits, you can actually take because c is a constant, c doesn't change. You can actually take the c out. Um, and and you you um, we've done several videos on this in the limits section. So so you can actually take the c out. And then just concentrate on finding out the limits of this thing here. So what, what this thing here, what this thing here is, is actually just you finding out, you differentiating, uh, u of x. So hang on, let, let me start again here. We started out by saying, by saying that if you want to, if you want to differentiate this here, you, you can just concentrate on, on differentiating this bit here. 
you can just concentrate you can just take the take the five take the five out and just concentrate on finding finding out this and the reason why you can do that is because if you look at the function if you look at that so so um, so you can imagine this as being a five here this is x to the power of three what what I'm trying to show you here is that you can actually take the five out and just concentrate on differentiating x to the power of three and and the way the way you the way I, the reason why you can take the five out here is because of this here your 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 five is in a way this c here and your five is here so you can actually because five is in common here five is in common here you can actually factor out the five so you can factor out the five so your five is like here and then using one of the laws on limits you can actually you can actually take the five out here that's why that's why you're able to just concentrate on on differentiating x to the power of three because well and let, let, let me start again here. So, so we're, we're saying when you want to differentiate this here, you can just concentrate on differentiating x to the power of three. And the reason why you're able to do that is is because you 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 start out with this thing here, and then you you um you follow it through basically, and and you can see that this c is in common. Factor it out. So it's here, and then. And then you can take this c out here, and and then uh, uh, and then and then this whole thing here is really the the true gradient of of the normal u of x. The normal u of x in our case was x to the power of three. So, so well, just just um, just know that you can just take the the constant out and concentrate on differentiating the the uh, the function on its own. So as an example here, suppose you um, You've got y equals seven x squared. Just visualize it like this. Concentrate on differentiating x squared. That will give you fourteen x. Okay. And then if you have something like this here, um, visualize it like this and this. Concentrate on differentiating this. So that would then give you uh, minus fifteen x. Hang on. That would then give you uh, minus fifteen x. And then this thing here, take away one, that would be minus six. So what? So dy by dx here equals this. Okay. The um, but the yeah. So 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 just remember, if you if you get given something like this, c um, hang on. If you get if you get given something like this, a constant, let's say eight, and then and then something like this here, just concentrate on differentiating this here, and then well. This would then give you um, twenty four x uh, squared. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay.